Namaste, and welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. Mera naam Anjali hai, hum aje hai, kaise hai aap? And today we're going to be doing another family ad that's called My Dad is a Liar. Um, and down below it says any man can be a father, but it takes a special person to be a dad. And that's so true. Yeah. And here in the U.S., I don't know if it's celebrated worldwide, but Father's Day comes in June every year. It's um, either around the 17th or the 20th. It depends. It always lands on a Sunday. And so um, we always do something special for Daddy. But his birthday is also this month, so we double up, mm -hmm. right? All those good, good things we can do for him. So we've already have our wheels turning about what we're going to do for his birthday. Something and we're going to videotape that. And we'll videotape it for you um, when we do it, right? We'll yep. surprise them. So, all right, uh, let's start up this ad. Um, we didn't grab a tissue box, but I know when you guys suggest these lovely ads, we usually need one. We're going to need one. Because um, they're very, always very emotional. And you know we are very emotional people. Um, it always touches our heart when there's small children involved, when it's parents and family involved. Um, which is, you know, pretty much all of it. Which is pretty much all the ads. And um, because I think we're a family channel. and um, It touches us even more. Yeah. So if you haven't already subscribed, click that subscribe button down below and join our wonderful growing Jan family. We do this for the love of India. We do this so the kids get to know their roots. Mm -hmm. Anjali, my daughter. In case you guys didn't know that um and the boys though they look more like me and she definitely takes after my husband completely takes after my husband um this is our way of connecting with india um connecting with their roots learning stuff like ramayan and um, we've been listening to Sadhguru and festivals and cultures and we do some vlogging of our own some just fun family stuff um some stuff around the house some of festivals so if you haven't subscribed definitely subscribe and pick click on our home page because we have over 600 videos to pick from um, so binge the, watch them all <laughs> I, I have seen people say that they've watched them all um, that's a lot of videos and we're coming up this weekend is one year since we did Lunky Dance yep Lunky Dance our very first video that well the first well, video we tried up. we did Boss we boss did the back. boss is back Cheer and Jeevy the boss is back which was awesome but it got but blocked, it got blocked. so the, one, the first video that everyone saw? The first video we ever did, reaction video we ever did, is this Sunday will be exactly one year that we posted our very first reaction video to crazy. Loongi Dance. So on that note, we're going to watch this lovely family ad and hopefully not cry too much. Ready? Okay. Daddy is the sweetest daddy in the world. Daddy is the most handsome. The smartest. The most clever. The kindest. He is my Superman. Daddy wants me to do well at school. Daddy is just great, but... He lies. He lies about having a job. He lies about having money. He lies that he is not tired.
he lies, that he is not hungry. He lies, that we have everything. He lies about his happiness. He lies because of me. kind of pulled ourselves together a little bit it's not what we were expecting at all it's definitely not when the thing said when the title said my dad's a liar I'm thinking more of he's doing bad stuff and he's gonna regret it like she's gonna talk to him about it or something like that right like, like it's was... gonna be her growing up or I of. or something illegal I almost thought at yeah. first too like he's doing something but bad this was, and she knows this was so much more and it's like yeah it's real life and it just like you always put yourself in their shoes and you're like yeah yeah this is I think like that's totally why real life because parents will lie to you about their happiness right well for not yours. so much happiness their happiness is your happiness right so we sacrifice parents moms dads grandparents every sacrifice for their children all the time and i don't you kind of understand as a from a kid's perspective but when you become a mom it's just a whole different ball game like you it's completely different like you We'll do anything. Do for that anything one child. for those children, for the one child, all the ch- all three of the children. Um, you want them to be happy and to succeed, and so he was trying. You know, she's little, like Jaden's age, maybe yeah, five she's or six. Um, and so he doesn't want to burden her with all of his problems. Yeah, and he wants her to feel like the, everything is good and happy. Um, and the world is perfect. And the world is perfect, but she knows that he's working hard and yeah. maybe not eating enough and counting his money, but he's still buying her ice cream. You know, I think all of us do that. Like, if you don't have enough, even people that don't have a lot, like, you're going to maybe... Spend those few monies on your child. Yeah. Before you would buy anything for yourself. Before you would buy anything for yourself. We go shopping sometimes, and I think the kids need, you know, shoes, or they need shirts, or Angelina needs dresses, and school is coming, and we need this and that. And my husband will look at me and say, what do you need? And I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. Like, this, we're here for them. And he's like, do you need something? Because if you need something, we're here. But it's hard. Like, you really, you put them first all the time. I think once you're a parent... Your name is no longer your name. You're Anjali's mom. You know, you you just, you know, stay up late with the babies. You get up early with the babies. You feed them. You know, my husband, he if he gets mad at the kids for doing something wrong, you know, he he's, he'll be grumpy and he'll go sit. And he waits a while and then he'll go back and talk to them. Well, if I get mad at them... Then a few minutes later, I'm like, do you need coffee? Do you need tea? Do you need food? Do you need a bath? Do you need this? Do you need that? You know, I, as a mom, I just can't, like, I can only be mad for a second because then I have to get over it and I have to be like, okay, they need to eat and they need food and they need this and that. 
Whereas my husband's, his stress is work. Like he wants to make sure he has a good job so he can give us this wonderful house. And, and so that we get a good, a, good, a good education to get a good job. Right. So that you guys get to go to, we live in a nice neighborhood where there are good schools and that you get to have the best schools around and, you know, you have all the clothes and the food and everything you need. And whether or not his boss is yelling at him or, you know, he's right now they had pay cuts and I lost my job because of this coronavirus the stress level on his shoulders right now is like that weight that they put on that guy's back. Like every day he goes, he's like, you know, are they going to fire people today? Am I going to lose more hours? If I keep losing hours, we can barely make bills. You know, three kids, a house, a wife, three big dogs. That And the burdens that are on his shoulders are much, much greater. And I don't know how much the kids see it as much because he comes home and he plays with them you know they hang out and he's like the fun guy you know um as long as schoolwork is good he's the fun guy right that does all the takes him outside and plays ball and like wants to take him shopping and they don't see the burden on his back as much right you kind of get a little bit more understanding of it because he talks about it to me um and i understand it because well, I'm older, and the boys will be, like, playing because they don't understand yeah, what the, yeah, the problem, problem is with work and, like, right. the money problem. Right. So, you know, his thing is if I lose my job, we lose the house, and we have to sell everything, and, and will we be on the street? And I can't do that to my children. That's his the weight on his shoulder. He does so much for us. Um, he's the provider, and... Um, and he, the burden, I think, sits heavy on him right now because of this coronavirus and, uh, and not knowing what's going to happen. But I think all parents do have this, your children come first and you want what's best for them and you want what you can't have yourself or what you couldn't have. Like I grew up, my mom was a single mom. I lived in an apartment. We had a cat. We bought whatever stuff that was um, cheap or used and that's how I grew up and my husband though he grew up in a village he had two pairs of pants two shirts and a pair of sandals and he was considered like rich he was able to take cookies to school his dad owned a little uh, like a shop shop, um, that sold like food and um, you know other stuff and so I think he tries to provide the life that him and I never had growing up to you guys and giving you everything and beyond, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, But that's what parents do, right? Hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as we did. Enjoying the wonderful Jan family. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. So what I think of my dad. My dad has definitely taught me a lot about responsibility and about what it's like to be a grown-up, but he's also always there for me. So when I do something wrong or something breaks, we'll fix it together and I can then learn from that of my mistakes. Boys, you get me food and I love you so much that I want to hug you. Daddy, you're the best dad. I love you, Daddy. I miss you, Daddy.